Okay, so we're talking about levels of measurement, and for an example, for levels of measurement, I want to use the shoes. You remember we had four levels of measurement. The first one was nominal, and that was a categorization somehow of the objects that we're dealing with. In this, this case with the shoes, we could use a couple of different schemes to organize them. We could separate them out into children's shoes and adult shoes. That would be one um, nominal variable. Another might be how that the shoes are, are hooked up. So I could take all my shoes that are, uh, have laces and put those together. That would be one category. And then I could have another category where I have buckles. So I have a couple different shoes here with buckles. And then I have ones that don't have any kind of fastener at all, like loafers in these boots. Those would all be in the same category. Another one would be um, uh, men's versus women. So I could take all the men's shoes and put them in one pile and all the women's shoes and put them in another pile. Uh, and so that gives me different ways of categorizing the shoes. So that's the nominal level of measurement. The ordinal level, uh, I need something that um, doesn't have clear differences between the categories, but they're in an order somehow. And a good example of that would actually be how bad they smell, okay? So I could take all of these shoes and I could smell them and say, hmm, that one smells brand new. No problem there. Set that on one end. And then I could smell another one and say, Oh, that's been used a lot, but it's not too bad. But then maybe I have these athletic shoes that I've worn running a lot of times, many, many hundreds of miles on the shoes. Oh man, those are bad. So I could kind of line all the shoes up according to how bad they smelled. So really bad, kind of bad, not too bad, and then brand new smelling down here. And then so I could put them all in an order. Uh, so that's the ordinal level. And then there's the interval level. What's an interval level variable that we could use with shoes? Well, it turns out that the shoe size is an ordinal level, I mean, an interval level variable. So I could look at all these and say these are size 10, these are size 9, and so on, size 7, size 4, and so on. And there's a specific distance between each size. Uh, from 4 to 5 is the same distance as it is from 7 to 8. And that's an interval level variable. It's not a ratio level variable because the zero doesn't mean anything. When you have a size zero shoe, there's actually some shoe there. Um, so so that's, not a, that's not a ratio level variable. The ratio level for shoes would be something like uh, the actual length of the shoe or the weight of the shoe. So, but I could, I could measure each one of the shoes and I could say, look, this one is 11 inches long. This one is 12 inches long. This one is seven inches long, and that's an interval level variable um, because it puts them all in order. The distance between one inch and two inches is the same as between four inches and five inches, and the zero actually means something. If the shoe is zero inches long, then there's no shoe there. And so those are the four levels of measurement demonstrated by the set of shoes.